hi guys this is Dahlia welcome back to my channel today I'm coming with a, a little different video I am gonna I am in the process of putting uh, I took a break for organizing I needed to do something different so um, I'm getting ready for 2021 I'll come back later with another video of my 2021 goals and my crafting journey but I will let you know that one of the, the goals is that I need to scrapbook so I could make a dent in my stash because <laughs> I have no space for paper and embellishment. So, because I've been buying, collecting, but not using them. I don't want to get rid of them. So I'm going to have to scrapbook so I could use them, right? So I started making page kits because I found that that's easier for me because I do the work ahead. And when I have the time to sit down, I could, I could whip a few layouts, you know, in one or two hours, something like that. So I decided to start creating some for um, 2021. I won't start until 2021. The reminding of December, I'm trying to get this room under control. But like I said, I had no space for the stuff. So I had to use it. So I started creating some... Um, some pages so I want to share my process with you guys um, I've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube lately so um, that's why I decided to share my process my process is some people just pick up the papers and I who started all this thing I think it was Janet from RTS they started you know the page kits thing I mean I have always done kits but bigger kits and they work out of that kit so um, my process is I get the the pictures first. So I'm going to share this one with you guys. So let me take it out of the sleeve so it could not give the thing. So I go through my pictures. It could be, I don't, I don't scrapbook chronologically. So you're going to see pictures here of my kids. They were eight years old. She's 20 right now. So, um. I pick the picture first, then I like to work with sketches again because the work is done for me. I don't have to, I mean, I could work without it because I get ideas, although I do them. But to make it fast and easy, I pick sketch. So first I pick the picture so I could know how many pictures I have that I want to scrapbook. That's another thing. I'm a one picture page scrapbook. That needs to change. I need to do multiple, if it's the same, um, location or or various um, photos from the same just needs to do more than one page so that's another goal in 2021 do multiple photos in my layouts so I pick my picture first so I could know what I'm working with and um, so in this occasion I only have one picture of my son so I went and picked a a sketch. This is I got this one from scrapbook.com gallery. I printed it on 120. I don't know how always. It's by Miyu, Miyuki Kawakami. I killed that name. But well, that is her name. And that is the picture, um, the sketch that I'm gonna follow. So then I have, I, I count how many papers. So it looks like this one is back. So that's two papers, three, and then you got this right here and this. So I like to get four to five papers because I like choices. And um, whatever I don't use, go back to my sketch, to my stash. My papers, I, I got them divided by color. I have I, all my paper pads are going to be break down. I have broken down a few of them. I have started at the beginning of this year. So I still got like 50, 50 paper pads that I need to break down. So a little by little. So I'm working with what I have already in my thing. So I pull out this. There's the inspiration for this one. What's this one? um this says love you to the stars and back and this is from dear lisi lucky charm from a few years back when lucky charm was the rage 
So, um, that is, uh, I, I grabbed that one. Hold on a second. So uh, I grabbed that one. So then I put this one and I use this one to work with and this will be the background which is stars it says love you to the stars and back so I'm going to use this as the background another thing I'm not a person that need the, the my paper needs to match the picture if your picture looks good in it with that color scheme it goes with it sometimes I match it but it's not a thing that I always oh it has to be matchy matchy no so here I got one background that's where my picture is going to go. And then I have three papers to work with with my, um, I don't necessarily back up my, 12 by, my my background paper. I hardly ever do that. So it, this one, it seems like everything is double, but I just work with one. I, I will ink my, my edges. So this is one kit. Now. I don't, you see, I don't have no embellishments here. Okay, my scrap rack is behind me. I got my scrap rack divided by color, where I got all my bits and pieces in color. I have a section for die cut collections that I could pull from it and stuff like that. I don't know if I am gonna um, add embellishments before time, before I head. So if I do, then I do, uh, this is just the pay, my, my first step. And then if I decide to add the embellishments, then I do a step two, which is adding embellishments and stuff like that. So that is my first kit. And I use this record sleeve that I purchased a hundred in Amazon, I think like for $18, something like that. And that's how I keep them. And then I put them like this in my shelf. So um, that is one. Um, the other one that I put together is, this one is multiple photos. And again, I scrapbook photos. They are not that great, but those are the only photos I have. So I use it, I'm not, I don't know how to edit pictures. So I use them as they come out. So that's how I scrap. So this is the same event. We were going to a birthday. This was, this was in 2009, so my daughter was nine. We was going to a birthday party, so, you know, she's always being sassy. So she posed, and then the party was a masquerade, Mardi Gras party, so then it was her with the, with the thing. This is the same picture, just smaller, but I wanted scrappy. So I got four pictures. I had two vertical and two horizontal. I'll figure it out how to play. So I decided, I, I got four pictures, right? So I went and look at my sketches. This is my page map from June, 2019. So I decided for this one right here, um, instead of butterflies, which I gotta use, I gotta write that because I put notes for myself. Let me write it down. Uh, cut Mardi Gras masks in cricket because i have a card trick and that's another goal i want to use my die cutters cricket i understand this silhouette is a uh, love and hate so i'm going to use this page map here i got four pictures it's four pictures they are horizontal but i play with it and i make it sound so these shapes right here like has scall scallop it has a top note um so I put a, a little three by four, uh, these cards in these cards that I get at Dollar Tree. And I put sketch number three because then I don't know when I'm going to work on this one. So by the time I, I pull it out, I, was, I will sit here and say, oh my God, which one is the one that I wanted to do? So I do little notes. Sketch number three. Then I put use Kiwi Lake templates for the top notes, the bracket. Those the ones that I know that I have. So use Kiwi um, Kiwi Lane. And like she's wearing Mardi Gras um, mask. Instead of butterflies, I'm going to cut the Mardi Gras 
a mask. I have a Cricut cartridge that has those masks. So, uh, you know, I will size them for the layout and then use those instead of butterflies. So, cut Mardi Gras mask and Cricut because by the time I do this, I have may I forget that I want to do the Mardi Gras mask and then I end up putting butterflies. Then I remember, oh, shoot, it was Mardi Gras. So, that's how I did title. I don't know yet. So, I'm not big on putting titles in all my layouts. I will figure something out. If not, it will go without a title. I will put an embellishment or something there. So that is my pro my my thought process on that. For this one, I grabbed this is from the Glam. It's this one, and I didn't put a sticker for the bl um, blush Glam um, hot paper pad by craftsman so i use this border because um i could use this border and i have the second page that i need to pull out because it's a double oh no because i have here i could use it so i use this paper too it's from the blush glam which that was a 2014 paper pad um then i pull this one also which was from the same paper pad and this was was also from the paper pad and this one was also from the paper pad so they all from the same paper pad when i when i break them so sometimes if i see papers that i want to work together so i just put them right away so that is that and this is it's going to be a two-page layout so this is from the same paper pad so this is my two-page layout and then i got these four papers to play with for the different cuts and stuff that I need for this. These are only one sided, so that's why you gotta pull a little more. If it's two sided and then you wanna work with both of those things, so you only need less. But I like a lot of paper and whatever I don't use, like I say, it goes back to my paper. Um, to my paper um, bins so that is that one and this one is pink a lot of pink I have way too many pink paper but she's wearing pink and black so it's perfect and again I don't have to for me it doesn't have to be mashy mashy okay this is one that um I'm trying I'm inventing with this one because um, we get this paper uh, again. Um, this one I don't have a sketch. All I have is one picture. This is 2008. She was eight years old, and this was her first day of school. Don't ask me what grade because I can't remember. So I only got one picture, and then I had this um, from the Love Letter paper pad by Craftsman. We got this paper, right? Will we get these papers? And um, we either use them as six by six, or we cut them and make die cuts out of it, or that. But I want to use this as the base of my layout. That's me in my inventing. So, so um, I'm gonna use the lovely as a title. So I'm gonna put girl, lovely girl. So I, with my um, small letters, I will put girl. So I want the picture. In the circle so I got my my little notes so for to make that circle the picture so I just want this part right here um, we're gonna use I'm gonna use the um, creative memory circle cutter um, system so I put it in my little notes right here title is gonna be lovely girl so I could remember that I gotta put girl here this was he said to journal here. I'm not good at journaling, but I would put a few lines, you know, that was the first day of school. She was, uh, she had a new haircut that I did myself to her. But that, but that time I was in um, hair school, which it didn't last because I figured out hair was not for me. So I cut her hair. She was already new sneakers and all that. And uh, she always used uniform, but she always put accessories to make her so her, her uniform won't be boring she used to say because you gotta wear the same thing every day 
so i would journal about that here and then i would cut that in circle and then it say i cluster in center no <laughs> i'm ahead so then uh so this is the title journaling this is picture so then we have this one right here i love this paper but it has bees or whatever that thing is i don't like those animals so i need to cover that so what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cluster here in the middle, but then like we get a second one. I'm gonna fussy cut this part right here, this flower. I'm gonna see if my scanning cut could do it, but I don't think so because it's too light. And that's another machine that I have a low love hate relationship with it. But I'm gonna fussy cut it. If I can do it with the scanning cut, I do it by hand. And then I'm gonna put this flower on top of this one and make it 3D. And then make a cluster here or put a, another sentiment here or something like that. So that's my idea. So, again, I don't know when I'm going to work on this. So well, when I saw this paper, that's why it came to my mind. So I made the, my little notes and then put it there. So then I have this paper to back the, the picture when I do the circle and then I have these butters because I will use one of them in the center here to make it like it and I'm thinking is um, this scallop one or this one this is your moment be you do what do what makes you happy I don't know flourish bloom grow I don't know which one I will use but it's gonna be right here in the middle and then I will tuck in like tags or tabs and stuff like that. So that is what I, so this was my inspiration and that's what I, that, that's what I have. We'll see how it will come out. So that is another pitch kit. And this one, as you see, I only have actually just one paper because this is my background, my base. This is just one butter that I'm gonna cut. So I only had this paper to work around with the, because I only have one picture. So that is that one. I am excited to get back into scrapbooking because I really love it. I'm just lazy. I am lazy. And I do 20,000 things and then I don't have time for nothing. So 2021 is going to be the year of scrapbooking. I'm not doing project like this year because I started in 2012 and none of them are finished. None of them. So I decide not to do it this year. Okay, this is a uh, this is going to be a two-page layout. I got four pictures of myself. See, I'm wearing a dress. I got red hair. And I'm wearing a dress that is black, beige, and red. And the papers that I'm using are pink. See, I don't have no pink in the pictures, but I, all I'm going to use is pink. Okay? So, um, I got, and for this one, I got two sketches. Because it's a two-page layout. And one page is going to have one picture. The other page is going to have three pictures. So, this is how I come out. This is gonna be my left side, the one with the picture. This is a uh, sketch. I got all these sketches from, some of them from Pinterest, some of them from scrapbook.com. And this is for, I cannot say these names. So it's for the Mudge Monday. It was designed by Julie Tillman. This is a car sketch, but I'm not gonna use it as a car. I'm gonna use it as my left side 12 by 12 layout, because I'm looking at this right here, at this cluster. I'm not looking at the stitching around. And the paper behind is the paper that I'm going to use. But I'm looking at this cluster. So instead of a heart there as the, uh, the thing for the car, it's going to be a picture. A picture there, but this is the cluster I want. So this is going to be my left side. So I needed something for the, because I didn't want it the same. But I wanted the same concept the flag the yeah the flags and stuff like banners and stuff like that so then for my right side i picked this one and it, this one has butterfly and the net and the paper has butterfly so this one is four photo but it says cut photo into four so you're supposed to cut one four by six cut it into four i didn't do that i'm gonna have three four three photos on here but what i'm looking is that it has the same thing it has the banners 
it has the stripes so that's what i'm looking so this is gonna be my and then on this side i will do this cluster and that so those are four pictures of me me playing with the camera i don't do that much but i need to scrapbook my story so these papers are from the love letter collection some of them i think well i'll show you but when i when i was ripping this um thing i saw this this paper and i loved it and i said oh a picture right here will be perfect and then you use this already as decoration i will put some bling in the I will put some bling in the in the body of the thing. Uh, I will use um, homemade wick and wick of Stella and the flowers to make a pop. Or I could even glossy accent the rose. I have idea of glossy accent the leaf around the leaf to make a pop. We'll see. But when I turn the page, this one was next to it. They both have script. If you look real good this one have a gray script and this one have pink script they both script and they for me they both they're gonna go side by side it's gonna look beautiful then this is the other part so that's why i was looking for a cluster that will be in the top because i'm not touching the bottom you see this i need to cover it because i don't like that so here i will put something to cover that because i don't like bees or none of these things butterflies i love them but this one right here i need to cover it i'll figure it out and put a cluster here or something so i was looking at this this will be perfect on this part right here this right here will be perfect on this part right here and then this cluster right here will be perfect on this side but then the banner has to go that way so i, I have to flip it but it will work perfect in this corner so that is my thought process so this is the papers that i got it's the from love letter it's a beautiful paper pad from craft map um it was a 2019 paper pad so i got those two as my background <clears throat> then i got this pocket dot it's like beige and it's from the same paper pad. I also have these borders. I could fussy cut these borders and use them and then put um, bling in the center or sequins. And it's from the same paper pad. Um, paper pad. Then I have this other one, same paper pad. I got this one, same paper pad and then i had this cut apart um because i could use it at the end over here i made four photos i mean three photos and that and make that my title again i need to put a bling or something here because it has it has a, a bd i either use this one the, one of these three dreams grow here leave this moment or strike for perfection um strive for progress not for perfection so one of those three will be my title so that's how i work i pick pictures first so i could know um what i'm working with and then this one i didn't have i don't have no notes because it's straightforward straightforward okay so let me share with you guys the other one i have like i have 14 kits that i put together today and then I have like 10 kits that I put together for crop at the beginning of the year, February. And I only did, no, I, I took like 15 and I think I only did like five layouts, which I haven't not do that layout share, which I will do next. Um, This one again, I have my little notes. Um, This was, this was, Insta well, this is the main picture well this two right here and then this was um i have a story of this i would this i will say this story when i do the layout but it was going to be titled instagram moments and then i got this right here which is going to be part of the layout. so I, i'm working with five photos well, i had another thing 
So, um, and this one, Instagram moment, yeah, that's the title. So for this one, again, I'm working with two sketches. I'm working because I have four pictures, right? But I want one to be alone in the main side and then this other four is gonna follow. And um, so I have for the left side, I have sketch number four, which is this one right here. This one has two pictures, but I only got one picture. I might find a three by four card or something. If not, I just do it with one picture. Again, like my title is Instagram moment because that was a, a, a spotlight moment for me, for that picture. So I wanted stars because you know, you're in the spotlight, stars. So I wanted stars because I have an idea in my head. So I found that one. And then from the right side, it's going to be sketch number four also, which is going to be a grid with the other pictures, with the other four pictures. And it's going to have stars too. So I put a note because I know which dies I want to use for that. So I put use Stephanie Bernard's stitch die star, which I know which one is it because that's the only... Um, That's the only um, die that I have from her. And then stitch some of the stars. So hand stitch some of the stars. And then use the Kiwi scallop template for over here and over here. And um, again, for the right side, I put the same four pictures in a grid to give me an idea. So that's how I do it. Because again, I don't know when I'm going to do this layouts and I have a bad memory. By tomorrow, I don't know what I wanted to do with them. So that's how I do it. So that is that. Let me share the papers that I picked for that one. Again, when I was um, turning that love letter pad, so beautiful. I think I did five page kits out of that. So when I was cutting, I saw this one, loved it. Love that scallop here. It's flat right now, but my plan is to glossy accent like outlining either glossy accent or or winkle stella i don't know i'm not sure yet but one of those things so it could pop up a little more most likely is the glossy accent because it gives that that 3d effect and then in each center of the flowers as you can see right here it has i will put a gem there so that is my background it's a two-pager then I put this um, cut apart. I don't know because I don't think it go with the theme that I'm going for. But I could always use one of these two journaling um, to tell my story about those pictures. And then I have this paper. They're all from the same paper pad, Love Letter. It was for 2019. So I got these three papers to work with... Um, you know the the cuts that I need to do for for that so that's that's what I have and this paper I mean it's beautiful this for wedding this this paper pad will be beautiful so that is that one again that B right there I will put a big something there because I don't like bees so that is that and that that in my pictures and then I also put like the month so I could remember the month. I don't need to put a sack day, just the month and the year is enough for my um for my um thing. Okay, another one that I have. Um this one is about my son. Again, I only have one picture. This was when he was traveling. He was traveling, I think he was in Indone Indonesia which I got to look at also. I could put it as the title. Um, I got to go back in my phone because I have them in folders in my phone. So I think this one, when he was traveling to Indonesia, um, I found this sketch again, completely different. What I'm looking is at this part right here, right here. It's one picture. I don't do I don't do miss media. So I'll figure it out for those circles. I might do circles instead. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. 
And then he has flower. He's a boy. I mean, it's okay to have flowers, you know, he's a man. So um, I'm not gonna use flowers. So I put here, use Kiwi Lane templates for these parts right here. And then use circle instead of flowers because this has circle here, right? I think I have a, a messy stamp. Like I think it's a Tim hole that I could use the stamp to do those circles. I think I do. So check for stamps. Messy circles stamps for background. Okay. So that I got my nose and when I'm ready to work, I look at my nose and I pull out what I ever need to pull out. Instead of flowers, we're gonna use circles and I will make I will make some circles embellishments, you know, decorate the circle. And that's what we will use. Again, when I and the background is going this is the inspiration. It says, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Because he's my son and I love him. This was from Pink Paisley Memorandum Paper Pad. So this is gonna be my background. This is the picture. And even though um, the picture is, is horizontal, I will make this cluster right here. It will be on this side. And this is gonna be my title. This is gonna be my title. I love you, I love you, I love you. So that is that. Then I have this, um, so this is the background, right? So then I have this one, which is by Maggie Holmes for Rem um, Remember This is the name of the paper. I don't know what collection it was. It doesn't say. So it's Maggie Holmes. Then we have this green. And again, I don't know where it's from. I think this is a Stampin' Up. I think this is a Stampin' Up paper. It's been in my stash for a long time. Then we have this one. Again, um, he's not wearing green, but there's greenery outside the, the rustic house that he was in. But again, I don't have to be matchy-matchy. I just like the colors that go with the paper that I chose as my background. Then I got this one, which is from the Bliss paper pad by my mind eye. And then we have this one that is, I have no idea. I think this is also, I think this was a Stampin' Up! collection. I can't remember. It's been in my stash forever. So it's little tiny flowers, but you can hardly see there are flowers unless you get close to it. And they are tiny enough for men. So this is the color scheme that I went for this photo. And I love me breaking the, the paper pads because if not, you think I would sit down to go through 60 or 100, whatever you have, paper pads to find the colors that you need or the paper that you want to use? No, I did buy. All my papers are going to be um, put into color, including my 6x6 six six and my 6x8. Six and I'm thinking about doing the collections that I have also. I have, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 collections that I haven't touched and they've been in my stash like for two years already. And I'm thinking about breaking it apart and put the papers with my papers and my embellishments and my scrap rack and be able to use it. Because I am working on the um, December daily and I'm using two collections the sugar cookie and the Santa baby, and I'm already bored with it. Already bored with it. I cannot work like that. I want every layout to be separate, different, different collection. So I'm thinking about that. I'm not sure yet. Okay, this is another one. Um, this is the inspiration paper, the only paper I have, but big paper. This is by Amy Tangerie from the Cut and Paste paper. This is old. And it's called My Thoughts Exactly. This was 2012. It is old. So when I saw this picture, I said, hmm. But I, I saw the, I had the picture in hand. He's like thinking, right? He's looking, he's, he's looking like he's thinking. So I was thinking just 
put the picture i will cut the picture a little more uh, more because i want the pictures to be around here and then i thought about doing each speech bubble is gonna have a word which i also put here i use word stand for speech bubbles because i have a lot of um you know that says dream or conquer or whatever so and then do a little bit cluster in each not each but in some of them and so that's my thought so i only got the background so i needed something to map the the picture so i went to my six by eight paper pads and i found this one but i when i couldn't find nothing that was not they didn't have floral i don't have manly papers so i don't scrap much men so mainly my daughter and my dog so so I went to that paper pad. It's called um, it's a six by uh, five by eight and a half something like that. Pebbles basic. It's basic. It's just the same, the same um, designs in different colors. So I grabbed this chevron that I could, um, cause I'm trying to triple map the the photo. Cause I don't want to take away from the from the speech bubbles. So I got that green one. I got the blue one and then I have the orange because those are colors that are in the speech bubbles. So that's what I picked. So these are the only things that I'm going to work with to map my photo. And then I'm going to, I say, uh, embellish, um, put words in, in the thing with stamps and that. So, and it says use some key related temperatures around photo, like some tags or brackets or stuff like that. So that is another one. This is going to be a very simple layout, but I think it's, the way I have it in, uh, envisioned in my head, it will look nice. So that's another one. Okay, this is another one too that I'm inventing something with these pages. So I only have one photo of my daughter. She looked beautiful there. She is using some, because she doesn't have those freckles. I guess that's a, that's a, how you call it those things a filter or something but she looks beautiful there so uh, for this one i'm gonna use sketch number two it's this one right here i only got one picture one picture and i'm gonna do a two-page layout listen to this i only do, i'm doing a two-page layout and i only have one picture so i'm gonna use this sketch right here it has two photo it has this big hearts behind it i don't have a die that has those big hearts but I have two machines, right? So I said, cut, cut big hearts and cricket. Cause I ain't gonna mess with silhouette yet. I gotta sit down and figure it out silhouette. So um, I'm gonna cut the big hearts, two big hearts in my cricket. I have punches for those little ones. So I don't, I'm not gonna um, bother with that. Just the big two ones. Then he has a, a thing in the back. He has a, a, a tab there, a flag. So, I'll figure it out those. I could use either dice or Kiwi Lane for that. I didn't put it here, but once I looked at it, I know that I could use those. The main thing is that the two big hearts, I don't have nothing big enough to cut that um, die to cut that. And I cannot freehand hearts for nothing. So, but I have a Cricut. I would use the Cricut for that. So I put my note, sketch number two, cut big hearts and Cricut. But... These are from the Love Notes also. I mean, that paper pad is beautiful. Beautiful. So, I saw this page. It says, you are capable of amazing things. Love this page, but we don't know what to use it for, right? We don't know. It has beautiful flowers here. Again, I will trace with either Winker Stella or... Like, um, glossy accent and so I, the amazing I would put glossy accent so it could but I, so I decided to do a two page layout with it so I had two only two right so this is going to be my left side I'm, I'm going to just do a little embellishment here or something and, and you know alter the flowers so they could come to life I'm going to do much to it but it's going to be a two page layout this is the other side. They both have script, different type of script. If you could see, that one is smaller. This one is this one. And this one, it has the same flower 
but color it again i will add to that to put it in so i will use the photo here with the two hearts and whatever things it need and then this is going to be right next to it and maybe at uh, the same heart that i cut for here i will color you know to fit here the two hearts and then put something else there just make an embellishment just to tie the two pages whatever i use here i try to use here like the two hearts make them smaller and whatever other embellishment i use here i just tie it here and whatever dots are you here you see here just make it cohesive and i think it's going to be a beautiful layout again try to use these pages because we get these pages in every paper pad we get few of them and i'm i was i'm saving them to use the back side as a white car stuff but then I to, and today i thought about why not use them as scrapbook layouts so that's another one that i inventing with so i can't wait to play with it and see um what i come up with and then these are the papers from the same collection that i have to play with to cut the hearts and to do all that butterfly beautiful and that pink stripe so that is another kit that i had together to pay let two page let out with one photo we'll see that's my inspiration so i keep it in the top and as you can see here i also i number the the sketch so i could know i could write down which one i don't want to mark in it because you know those have even though this um i could use the same layout in another thing because remember i don't scrapbook chronologically so they're never going to go on the same album or even if it go in her album it's not going to be because I, I don't scrapbook chronologically but when i put it in the album i try to put it from you know from youngest to now this is another one another picture of her this was her first day uh work orientation when she um, started working in the hospital with me so that's her right there um i have this which i just noticed that i have this same sketch for another in another kit but again it's not from the same art uh, it's not going to be in the same album because the other one is for travel out uh, for the travel for the uh, um trip so I love this doily which I could pull out or make or cut or whatever and that so again is that gonna be another page another two page layout guys but it's gonna be with this this one says bloom love it and the same paper that I use in the other one but I don't care it's gonna be a completely different layout so again I'm gonna use this in my left side I'm gonna embellish me cover this little guy right here because i don't like him and again beautiful so this right here is, fits perfect this cluster right here fit perfect right here in the middle so that's how i'm gonna do it and it's gonna go like this in her album side by side again i will try to put whatever i use here I'll try to use something here there's not much space but i could do like a little doily here with a strip words or something so that's my plan so the papers that i got for this one is from the love letter collection i'll tell you i did like five or six paper kits with that collection oh no this one i added extra because i think this was the last one i was like why can i i didn't have nothing else to add to this so then I went to my pink section and I found this one from the Rose Quartz Recollection. It was 2017. Yeah, I write down. At the beginning, I started writing down by hand, but then I, yeah, I saw that was tiring. So I make, I make labels now. And when I did the labels, I forgot to add the year. So um, I add the year now, but the other ones that I need to do, it's going to include the year. So I could know. So I added this one because the colors go with it. Um, and then I have this one in the back here. This is that marble. I could use a little bit of it too. It has kind of rose gold um, foiling, but I don't mind mixing my foil. So that doesn't bother me. Then I have this one. 
it's like an ombre effect and this is for the orange blossom which is a recollection paper pad by in 2017 it's is it, it match and then I, have, I also had this one which is from the blush glam paper pad by craft smith and this is 2014 also goes with it and i needed something another paper that i could they could have that gold silver because i don't i don't know if i will use that um that marble one so i picked this one which is from the blush glam also it's a uh it's a scrap, but it had the different shades of pink and it had the same gold the butterflies had. So that is the ones that I'm using for that. So that is that. That's another one. Okay, I will share with you guys one more and then I will stop and make a uh, part two because the video is going to be too long and um okay this is another one that i don't have a sketch for it because again i have it in my head what i want to do this is another one of those six by six we have this big circle right here we got this right here and we got this right here one of the kind is going to be the title then it says purpose purpose fuse and passion I'm not going to use that. I'm going to cover that with a cluster of flowers. And I will share with you what I'm going to do. I had two pictures. This is her at the job that she went to the orientation too. So she used to work nights. So that's that. So again, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut the, the circle. I want. I just want this main part right here. So it's gonna be, the picture is gonna be in this circle, and then this is gonna be another circle, but it's gonna go here on this one. And over here, I am gonna fussy cut these beautiful flowers that this paper had. I'm gonna fussy cut, and then I'm gonna do a cluster with two of them, two or three of them to cover that and some other stuff. So that is my thought for this paper pad. Again, I put my notes. One of the kind is the title, so I won't forget. Um, picture and circle, picture and no and no paper, cluster and bottom bottom right, and then of course I will tag. You know, I will do little stuff between the pictures to make it cute. So the papers that I got for this one, again, this is from the classic chick. This is a uh, black and um, I have the cover right here. It's a very beautiful paper too. Because I keep the cover. So it's this one. Classic chic. Beautiful paper. Oh, and that love the love note. Let me show let me show you that one because I that paper was beautiful. But I knew I was not gonna use it as a whole. So I um this is the love letters. Beautiful paper pad. I keep this because if I say I want to do a mini album, I could reference the paper pads that I have and I know where each paper should be. It should be in color. This should be in the background because I will not use that. This should be in the color parts. So I could pull papers together if I need, if I want to do a mini, a mini album. So again, this is from the classic Cheek. This is my background. Again, this is another color part. Um, I will cut one of them. I don't know which one and it will go right in the middle My flowers to cut apart so I have two cut aparts and then I only got Two papers to play with the photos because you don't need much because they're gonna be circle. So again very easy um, Layout So Let's see, let's see, let me see where I'm at. Okay, I'm at 45 minutes, so I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna come with part two. Stay tuned.